My name is Claire Caroon, and I am the author of Number Facts 1 to 4, published by EDCO, the Educational Company of Ireland. Number Facts offers teachers a new and innovative approach to teaching the basic number facts, traditionally referred to as tables. Number Facts is an innovative new series of activity books that teaches children to visualise numbers and use thinking strategies to recall number facts and improve their number skills. There are four books in this series, Number Facts 1 and 2 for first and second class, which covers addition and subtraction facts. Number Facts 3 and 4 for third and fourth class, which focuses largely on the acquisition of multiplication and division facts, while also progressing the strategies developed for addition and subtraction in Number Facts 1 and 2. Let's look closer at the structure of the books. Each book has a straightforward, easy to follow layout with a unit per week, arranged as a double page spread, subdivided into four days of activities. Each unit focuses on a particular group of facts, in this case, multiply with five, and there is a specific thinking strategy linked to each unit. Each unit or week starts off with a focus on concrete and pictorial activities, and progresses towards the more abstract activities at the end of the unit. The concrete materials recommended are all items available in most homes, for example, in this case, five cent coins. But in the event that these are not readily available at home, supporting visual images are also given, either located adjacent to the activity or elsewhere in the book. For example, the hundred dots grid referenced in question two is printed on the inside back cover. As the week progresses, the initial concrete and pictorial activities are designed in such a way as to encourage the children to discover connections between facts and begin to develop strategies for that particular group of facts. In this case, the strategy that five times any number is half of ten times that number. This culminates in a final day where the questions are all abstract, with no supporting visuals, but where there are often prompts called think boxes to encourage the children to reflect on and connect with their learning in that unit. For example, think five times what number equals 50. On the left hand footer of every double page spread, the targeted strategy for that unit is clearly given for the benefit of the teachers, parents and children using these books. There is also a daily challenge section to encourage the children to extend and apply their learning to more complex situations and or to numbers beyond the limits of the traditional tables. These challenge sections are scaffolded in such a way that answering the first part will often aid the child in answering the second part, and so on, ensuring as many children as possible experience success. There is a strong emphasis on using visual structures to support thinking throughout these books, including real objects, base 10 blocks, and bar models. To engage the children further and include the whole family, on the right-hand footer of every double page spread, there are suggestions for a simple playing card game that could be played as a fun and engaging way of reinforcing the fact group. Where appropriate, links are also made to other parts of maths outside of the basic number facts. For example, here the child is enabled to recognise that if one-tenth of 70 is 7, then one-fifth of 70 must be double that, or 14, since one-fifth is twice the size of one-tenth. The layout and structure is very similar in number facts 1 and 2, and many supporting visuals are used, including 10 frames, base 10 blocks, and rows of dots that encourage subitizing and resemble the number rack or reckoner. The units also progress through a concrete pictorial abstract approach, focusing on a particular strategy. In this case, the child is enabled to recognize that to add 9 to any number, you can move one unit to the 9 to make a 10, and thus a friendlier or easier calculation. The representations and activities gradually become more abstract as the week moves on. Similarly, in number facts one and two, there are almost daily challenge sections that encourage the children to extend and apply their learning to more complex situations and or to numbers beyond the traditional limits. So to recap, Number Facts is packed full of engaging features, including weekly units with addition, subtraction, multiplication and division activities for Monday to Thursday, an underlying thinking strategy for each unit, think boxes to reinforce the relevant thinking strategies, a daily challenge section to extend the children. 
It also includes a self-assessment feature to allow children to assess their own learning at the end of every week. There are separate revision and assessment sections at the back of the book for completion at regular intervals to consolidate learning. There is a personal progress chart which enables the children to record their assessment scores. And as mentioned earlier, a selection of family card games for parents and children to play at home to reinforce the number facts taught in each unit. There is also a teacher's resource book which provides the teachers with the rationale, guidance, plans, photocopyable masters and answers. There is a detailed explanation of the number facts approach and activities, an outline structure of the pupils book, a thinking strategies overview, long-term plans, maths content objectives, photocopyables that may be required, and answers to all the questions in the pupils' books. So, Number Facts, as I've shown you, offers a new and more innovative approach to the learning of facts compared to the more traditional drill and practice workbooks. Number Facts can be used in conjunction with all maths programs on the market, including Operation Maths, the other maths publication from EDCO. This book reassures teachers that even if the children are following these activities at home, they are not just drilling or practicing number facts. They are actually learning strategies that could be applied in a multitude of situations. And as you can see, they are attractive and colourful activity books. You can find out more about the number facts series on numberfacts.ie. You can also find out more about all of the EDCO books by going to www.edcolearning.ie. Thank you for listening.